Hi, welcome back to my Sony Vegas editing tutorial for beginners. My name is Craig and this is part 5. Before we finish up and render these, this little project that we've done so that we can burn it to a DVD or post it on YouTube or whatever you want to do, um, there's one more thing I want to cover and it's important. And it has to do with track layering. Now we've already done a simple form of track layering here where we've got our title uh, track above our main video track and that's what's allowing the title to be over top of the main video. And because the um, title element is transparent on the background, um, we're still able to see the main video through it, okay, underneath it, right? But something like this clip here, let me just put that back to normal. This clip here uh, is not transparent. It's a full frame clip. And if I just click my cursor over top here, you'll see that it is taking place over top of our main track that's that's below it. So if I play this back, just turn the volume down a little bit here. Okay, you'll see that that clip, because it's on top of this clip, is going to show up over over top of it. All right. Now I can do this. I can do the normal fade ins and fade outs that I've shown you, and that's going to cause it to fade in and fade out. And if I adjust the opacity, it'll only show through halfway, like a double exposure. Okay. Now, if I take this clip and I put it down below, so now it's underneath this main track. Well, now it's not going to show up. Okay, because it's down below. And there's nothing about this track that's going to let it show through. So by moving it back up, now it becomes prominent again on top. Now, you know, why would you want to do that? Well, I've got a little side thing going on over here to demonstrate this. And basically what I've got here is a clip I, I've got from one of my Craig's Kitchen episodes. And you'll see that I've, I've actually purposely put a jump cut in here because I didn't care at this particular time, you know, this is, you know, it wasn't appropriate for me to worry about it. So I, I kind of stick to I the just, chili powder and the chili sauce. So here, I just left the jump cut in. So you can see where I made an edit so there. So I, I kind of stick to the chili powder and the chili sauce. So here's my... Right. But if you're doing a wedding and you want, you know, um, to cover up and edit, you know, you got, you got speeches or something like that, or you got, you know, the, somebody's carrying on and, you know, rambling on, you might want to cut some of it out you're going to need to cover your edit up so people don't know that you've done it. You want it to remain uniform and smooth. So you, we want to put our play cursor right where the edit happens. That's where the cut happens. And I have a clip here that I've set up earlier that's appropriate to bring down and put over top of our cut. So here's how to do this. Now you could just drag it down and drop it on, but I'm not only going to get video, I'm also going to get audio. And you could just delete the audio track and it would be fine. But just to show you a little shortcut here, let's right click on the clip. Right click it, hold the right mouse button down and drag it. And then when I let go of the right mouse button, I get a menu. I want to choose video only and add video across tracks, across time. It doesn't matter which one you do. Uh, you're only dragging one clip down, so either one. And now we only just we have got the just the video, no audio, and then we don't have to worry about deleting tracks. So now, when we play this back, so I t I kind of stick to the chili powder and the chili sauce. So here's my ingredients. So Start you can see how I covered up that edit, and you can no longer tell that I actually made an edit. So let me show you some other uses of of track layering. Let's come down here. Here's a, tra a project I did where I have a track on the top here. The top track has been shrunk down a little bit, so there's space left around the side, right? So that the bottom track, which is a f discolored, magnified version of that tr same clip, can show through. You see? So we've got a layering effect where the bottom track is being allowed to show through because the top track has space around it. And what I've done here is created like a sort of a, a sort of lensing a spyglass sort of effect here. Hey, Dad, you're the 
right? Kind of neat, you know? Something you can do. Two tracks, same clip on each track, and that's how layering can benefit you there. Another thing I did, just got a little shrinkage here going on because I wanted to show you all the tracks, is that I've got the same clip on six different tracks, but I've staggered them inward a little bit. So each track above is a little bit behind uh, or, you know, ahead of, I guess, the previous track. So you've got, you're going to get like a delay effect. And I've also used the opacity to make sure that each track shows through uh, as much as we want it to so that we see all the tracks. So if I bring back my preview here, let's just play this back and see what the effect is. Kind of like a blurring effect. Let's go forward a bit here. Right. You're seeing a blurring effect because you're seeing all the different tracks showing through each other, but they're not at the same time. They're delayed from each other. You see? As I showed you here at the beginning of the video, they're all staggered inward. So that's another track layering uh, effect technique. And a third one I'll show you, last one here, is the fact that let's say you want to blur somebody's face out of the video like this okay so I have um, I have my main track which is you know normal the normal video that we shot okay and I have a another track with a, a, a circle cut out of it it's the same clip but it's got only this little portion showing through and it's blurry so because that clip is on top of my main clip you see, it's going to be over top. Look at that little blurry circle over top of the girl's face. And I actually use something called keyframing, which is very important, and I'll teach you that in the next module, to make it move with her. So that as the frame moves, as she moves in and out of the frame, the circle actually uh, moves with her. And that's very easy to do. It's cookie cutter and um, keyframing something we won't worry about right at this very moment, but there's another track layering um, technique that we can use. So now you can kind of see how important track layering is and you will be using it a lot. Okay, I've had projects with 12, 15 layers of tracks because I wanted to achieve a certain effect and once you know the basics of Vegas and what it can do, you will be doing a lot of different special effects just out of your imagination because you know how it works and how Vegas works and how the what the concept of it is. Basically like the Ten Commandments of Vegas, once you know those, you're, the, you know, the sky's the limit. You're going to see things on television and you're going to say, wow, I know how to do that. I, can, I think I can do that with Vegas. It's a very cool program. Next episode, we're going to cover the last module of this, uh, the last segment of this module and that is rendering. Um, that's going to smooth out your video because you'll notice once you get once you get doing special effects and transitions and different things your video is going to look choppy and uh, you know that's just your computer trying to keep up. Once you render your video you know to prepare it for DVD or YouTube or whatever that will all smooth out and your final product will look completely smooth and beautiful. So don't worry about it getting choppy while you're working with your, uh, your timeline. Next uh, segment will be the rendering segment. Um, until then, thanks for watching. I hope this is helping, and uh, we'll see you then. Take care.